Yo, what's up, guys? Take notes, please. Here. Got another commentary. Yeah, I guess it's fours. Um, I actually have a pretty good team. Number zero personnel. I mean, not really, did, not really, not really to vote up. Yeah, somehow he's able to get that OM. I have no idea what he just did right there, but yeah, that worked out. And I believe this was on personnel's post. Uh, now Paul gets a good connection off this, but uh, yeah. It's horrible for me and everyone else in the game, so let's see what happens. Still having OS. Uh, it was just a really good push with the Mongoose off the start. I did not think he was going to get that. But uh, it's, it's a pretty big game changer because it pushes them back in the sniper where it gives us party control, which is really important, and they are the ones having to make the push. This is more of a passive map, so. <laughs> Trying to make a flank, um, it's not going to work out for him and vocalist, and it's going to leave us men down, so... Overall, pretty good job by the red team, getting back in the party. And getting rocket control, I guess. Not sure who has those, but yeah. Once again, I get raped by rockets. It's going to have a nice LPR on number zero, though. That's pretty much all about getting party control. It sucks because it's just such a congested area. Like that, he's just gonna get shot right outside of party and there's gonna be ramps right to him, so. I really don't like how this map is based around party. It's really hosty, it's really grenadey. It's probably my personally least favorite map, but uh, I guess if you play right and keep control, it's not too tough. So he's gonna trap number zero in a corner and zero's gonna have no idea what to do with himself. He's gonna pick up an easy kill. So again, pushing from catwalk to party. Um, he's gonna make a smart play not to challenge that guy, and he's gonna wait for me, and we're gonna push him there. For some reason, Scott's is waiting bottom party. He's able to get cleaned up, though, so hopefully. Another smart play to run away and bait him in, but I'm pretty sure they got green or, or base spawn, so that was just really unlucky. Not really sure where he got shot from, but uh, it seemed like a good play. And once again, six people in party. Shouldn't be a clusterfuck. It's gonna get taken off of a uh, bridge, and yeah, we're gonna have a tough time pushing from sniper. It would have been good if he could have been the one guy on a flank and just not, not like crouch, but just kind of waited a little bit. But it doesn't matter because now we're all trapped in sniper. So the main thing right here is we're gonna have to push out a sniper and at least get a couple down so we can try to get this new OS. I think is we're the only ones who have the time to it. I believe he got it at like 55 maybe, maybe a little bit later, but yeah, we're, we're gonna get screwed over for OS and hopefully we're gonna be able to get invis because they're nowhere near OS and they're gonna have it. So, big boy traps, crouching, I mean, this is what happens on this map. Everyone goes to the party, everyone crouches, that's why I hate it. It's not about making good pushes, it's about single people holding down an area. And I'm sure Paul is going to do fucking work with his shotgun. Yeah, that's what this map is all about. Sadly. He's here out getting too cocky. And Paul is a warrior, so yeah. It's going to work out for him. Paul oh, is coming in with the shot. <laughs> oh my god. Man, he's going to be able to take out one person. It's probably better to play a little more passive with the shoddy on this map for the sake of winning, but whatever, I mean, it doesn't really matter. And I'm gonna get first melee, but for some reason not get the kill, so I'm gonna get a UK host. And Guns is just gonna come flying in with his brute dog and crouch in the corner, so pretty much his gameplay summed up. Once again, Snipe, not a great spawn, but he's able to pick a shoddy up off his spawn, and... Sadly, a shot is really important on this map, so... Oh, guns! Waiting on rockets is just gonna get fucking ripped. Not sure what that kid was doing, rockets were up, but... Maybe he just likes to sit and look at them for a while and envision how long he's gonna crouch with them, I don't know. So we got party control rockets, which is good, but... He's gonna come to help me. I'm able to pick up guns anyway, but, uh... A, a nice long range rocket actually. That seemed like a little bit questionable, but it worked out. And sadly Zero is going to be in green, but he's able to back off. So he's really just wanting to control um, rockets and party. 
And maybe wait for someone or wait for them to try and make a push. So for some reason, we're already waiting on OS. Not really sure why, maybe he was just weak. But uh, yeah, this should be... Ooh, thought he was gonna have it over there. Um, it was still a good play though. He used the rocket well and stayed alive, so that's all I can really ask for. Bottle trying to do some jumps that are impossible, good shit. And he's gonna have a really unlucky rocket on zero. But he's able to be cleaned up by both of us, so it doesn't really matter. Once again, pushing the party. And yeah, he's gonna help out the guy one shot in party. And we're probably gonna push into Sniper. Sniper's just, it's really easy to nade. It's, it's really hard for them to control it. They're pretty much stuck in two different small little rectangles, which can be naded pretty easily, so. I mean, it's just not tough to kill them from there. So Paul's gonna get sandwiched and try to run away, but we're able to trade 2 2 and we have the lead, so. It's really not a bad trade if we're able to keep party control. And I believe we are, seeing as they haven't made a good push yet. Get another trade and then Paul is finally here to help so he, he gets zero and we're able to push back in the party then yeah we're pretty much consistently trading with the other team from party so they're not able to make a good push they get a really really lucky spawn on OS I was thinking they would have spawned snipe definitely but it didn't really matter because zero was able to be picked up and I'm sure this OS guy won't last too long anyway just now making a pretty stupid push there there's Crash. don't really know what he's doing Oh, no, he's gonna die. I had Ball gonna eat one of the face and just throw a bubble. Gun's almost having the sickest double kill of his life with that sniper, but he's gonna be taken down. And we're gonna control uh, party. Luckily, that power drain didn't really affect us too much, and uh, yeah, we still go over the map. We get a nice knife on person now and make him back up. Hopefully gonna be able to do the same to these other people pushing from green. Yeah, if he didn't push pretty hard, I would have wow, nice. Uh, those were good snipe shots. I would have pushed all the way out of party probably and waited, but uh he's able to get a kill. He's not gonna notice the new sniper up, but I guess this late in the game he was probably hearing call out, so he's gonna get a nice grenade on then, so. The game's pretty close, and it looks like we don't have party control right now. Nope, they're definitely making a push on us from Garage. And we're, we're just gonna get needed to shit, which is what always happens on this map. And he's just gonna get an unlucky BR on number zero, not able to clean him up. So it's gonna be tied up 46-46, and we're gonna get another really bad spawn, so... It's gonna be tough to push in. I believe Vocalist getting nade kills, and... Traps somehow Warrior... Oh, okay, nope, I did get him. Buddy warrior that away. Paul is going to be looking to back up from these grenades. I believe him and both of us are going to make a push in on zero. Although he has some help, so not really sure what happens here. Ooh, red team doing a really good job staying alive in there. Not really sure how they did that. Uh, number zero, not really aware of the bonds, is going to push out and uh, get cleaned up. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Uh, this was a good gameplay by Paulo. He really showed how to hold down party room and make smart pushes on Ghost Town.